What's good? It's Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man Sprees. This time, the focus is on Anthony Joshua and his thoughts regarding the Tyson Fury Francis Ndongo promotion, where Joshua is feeling that this particular promotion is frustrating for people who are waiting in line for a title shot. In all actuality and sincerity, Joshua's sentiments are very correct because Tyson Fury had an opportunity to unify for Undisputed against Alexander Usyk and the discussions for that fight broke down and it seriously had to do with Tyson Fury more than anything. And since Fury has not elected to try and fight any contenders who are worth the wait, he is, has el elected to go in a different route for another f huge payday and not to threaten his title run or reign. People outside can kind of see what's happening here. And even the promoter and Frank Warren is trying to put off the notion that People don't want to see fights, they want to see events, which is not true, especially coming out of last weekend's July 29th Super Bout between Earl Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford, where the people showed out in droves to see this fight, and the numbers are coming in. It has proven to be quite a successful affair. When you think about what Joshua is saying about the Fury debacle though, as far as promoting a fight against Ndongo, he believes Fury's decision to face Francis Ndongo is massively frustrating for the heavyweight division and says that his British rival should have waited until he was no longer WBC champion to do it. After talks broke down for Fury's unification with Alexander Usyk earlier this year, the six foot nine heavyweight decided to arrange a clash with MMA fighter Ndangu in October instead of defending his title against a legitimate challenger. Before that, Joshua's takes on Dillian White and August 12th in a rematch between the two of them. But Joshua said, I'm not, I'm not frustrated by that because I've been champion and I know my process. I'm on this rebuilding phase. But I can understand for people waiting in line, it must be massively frustrating because to become champion for some people is the be all and end all. That's all they want to do. And then they can pack up. Obviously, there have been a rematch between Usyk and, and, and Fury, but that could have all been done and dusted this year and the belts would have been broken up and the people will have been able to get their opportunity. I feel sorry for the people who want to know where they are going with their career, but Fury has to do what Fury has to do for him. I admire the guy for his confidence to do what's right for him, but he has an effort mentality. I think we all need a little bit of that in today's society. The thing about Joshua, he's trying to sound politically correct and in a, in a certain sense, let you know exactly what's really happening. When asked if Fury should have been installed within the mandatory, Joshua related that I would have loved to have swerved my mandatory in Usyk and would have gone to Saudi and make a crap load of money, but he had to face Usyk and take it on the chin. He said life isn't always fair, but he said that he thinks that, yes, to be able to face the mandatories, that gives people an opportunity, but it's not necessarily what a, cha a champion wants to do. But this is something that Fury has done pretty much for his career. Someone gave him an opportunity and he has crapped on everyone else ever since. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what your thoughts are about this promotion and what AJ had to say.
Peace and everyone be safe.